In today's video, we're going to look at how to create basic bar charts in Tableau. So we'll look at horizontal, vertical, and stacked bar charts. Before we continue though, I think it's good for us to do a quick review. Um, and this really revolves around rows versus columns. I do have another session that explains in a little bit more detail rows and columns, but what's important for us to remember is that when you place a data point in rows, that data point gets displayed vertically. And when you have a data point that is placed in columns, that data point gets displayed horizontally. So the orientation of the drawing depends on where you place it in your canvas, whether it's in rows or in columns. Another thing to remember is when we have green pills, green pills in Tableau are actually continuous fields. And what they do is they produce axis, they produce a number line. Blue pills in Tableau represent discrete fields and discrete fields produce headers and headers slice up your data. Let's do a little bit of storyboarding here. A horizontal bar chart is when the bars are actually laying flat. It is parallel to your X axis or your horizontal axis, which means your green pill has to be on your column shelf. The horizontal bars are created because you have headers or descriptions or categories that are laid out vertically or one on top of the other. So which means your blue pills are sitting on the row shelf. For this demo, I've gone ahead and created a blank workbook and I'm connecting to a data breaches data set. This is from Information is Beautiful website. I'm including a link down below should you want to explore this or follow along. So to create a horizontal bar chart, we need to have a green pill onto our column shelf. So let's drag over a number of records stolen. And what we can see is it actually draws this horizontal bar on screen. So that's great. Um, to add the slices, we want to have a discrete field or a blue field onto your row shelf. Um, in this case, we want to split it up and have the headers um, laying out horizontally. So in this case, let's choose method of leak. And this is our basic horizontal bar chart. It's as easy as it gets. Um, there's a few things I do want to show you. Um, so maybe we want to display this in the entire screen so we can change the fit from standard to entire view. And typically in your bar graphs, you, you typically want to show uh, it in a sorted fashion. It's just easier to, to identify which one has the highest value, which one has the lowest value. So in this case, we can hover over the number of records stolen axes to show a small icon that allows us to do a quick sort. To create a vertical bar chart, we simply need to reverse the placement of our green pill and our blue pill. So in this case, to create that vertical bar, we need to place our green pill onto your rows and whatever labels or slicers we want onto columns. So in this case, I'm just going to use method of leak again. Okay, so this is what we have. Again, very easy. We have created a, a simple bar graph. Um, we can add our quick sort. And should we want to show this in the full screen, we can change the view to entire view. We could also have easily done this starting from the horizontal bar chart we had. So going back to the horizontal bar chart, there is a shortcut in Tableau that allows you to swap rows and columns. So in this case, I can simply swap rows and columns. For a stat bar chart, we can start with your horizontal or vertical chart. And what we really need to do in here is we simply need to further subdivide the bar into multiple segments. How do we do that? Well, in the marks card, we have different properties that allow us to further segment this one bar chart. We can choose to use color or maybe even size or maybe have a different label, label for each segment or simply just subdivide it. For our purposes, we're going to use color, but just note that you can play around and see what happens when you drop your discrete field in some of these other properties. 
So let's use year in this case. So I've used, um, I've, I've converted year into a discrete field. And this is what we have. This is not a great visualization. There's too much color happening in here. Uh, this is just for demonstration. And just to ease your mind, we can group some of these years together so that we don't have too many colors. So in this case, I can group them using the paperclip and change the alias so that we can still keep track of which years are in this group. So there you go. Let's group this one more time. We have a 2011. 2011 to 2015 and then just 2016 onwards group that again right click edit alias and this 2016 onwards or actually maybe 2016 to 2018 there you go i hope you enjoyed this mini session on basic bar charts in tableau until next time